This morning when I talked to the team, it was really difficult. We did a Zoom call as long as I have enough people around me to know how to do those things. And that was really, really difficult. And when I came in and I saw the former players in the lounge, that was really difficult. And then when I realized that I was going to walk through that tunnel for the last time as a coach, that was really difficult. So we need to have some humor because I'm going to need it. <laughs> And so the chancellor, I worry about you, chancellor, because intellectually you and I are about the same spot and that worries the hell out of me. Because now I was going to say was, is now a good time to say April's fool and say gotcha and get the crap out of here. But the chancellor got me, got it first. These are different times and unusual ways to say things. First time I spoke at my high school graduations commencement exercises, I wrote it out. When I spoke at my mom's and my dad's funeral, I wrote it out. And in 2007, when I was lucky enough, because a lot of those guys back there, when I was inducted in the Hall of Fame, I wrote it out. And the reason I did that is because I think I've got a better chance of uh, holding it together. I really need Mickey Bell and Coach Smith here because at the Hall of Fame induction ceremonies in 2007, Coach Smith slid over to me and said, eh, I've got a $10 bet with Mickey that he thinks you're going to crack up and start crying. I said, Coach, you're in good hands. But if I read it as opposed to just talking off the cuff, I do have a better chance. But these are different times, unusual th ways to say things. And today, and excuse me, in today's times, I should say that I'm not retiring or resigning. I'm opting out. That's the most ridiculous phrase I've ever heard in my life. Why the hell don't you just say I quit? Uh, so I'm old school and I can't use those words, but I will tell you that I'm retiring and resigning as men's basketball coach at North Carolina. It's been a thrill. It has been unbelievable. I've loved it. It's coaching. And that's all I've ever wanted to do since the summer after my ninth grade year in high school. No one has ever enjoyed coaching like I have for 48 years. Everybody wants to know the reason, and the reason is very simple. Every time somebody asked me how long I was going to go, I would always say, as long as my health allows me to do it. But deep down inside, I knew that the only thing that would speed that up if I did not feel that I was any longer the right man for the job. I'm not gonna say the best man because I never thought I was the best at anything. But 15 years at Kansas, I thought I was the right man. And this time at North Carolina, I thought I was the right man. I no longer feel that I'm the right man for the job. I just never got the team this year where I wanted them to go. I just didn't get it done. I didn't get them to buy in and focus on the things that I think are really big in the game of basketball. We got better all season long. I think we got better, but not to the level some of our teams have been. But the biggest reason we're having this meeting is I just don't feel that I'm the right man any longer. I love coaching, working with kids on the court, the locker room, the trips, the jump around music, the trying to build a team. I will always love that. And I'm scared to death of the next phase, but I no longer feel that I'm the right man. Now, 18 years at UNC, and you're darn right. I'm as happy as I can be about those individual banners up there of the players that I coached, including Tyler Hansborough on the front row. That's pretty impressive. All those guys that uh, helped us put those three banners behind us. I'm so proud that I can say in the 18 years we've been back, 
we're the only school to win three. Again, I've been so lucky because of those players. And nothing is better than seeing the look on your guys' faces when they accomplished something that was really hard. I love those locker room celebrations. And yes, a lot of people realized that I couldn't dance worth a darn, but I didn't care. I just wanted to jump around and act like a fool. So to the players that are here, the ones that have already sent messages, that have already called me, and the ones that haven't, I loved every one of you and thank you. Dean Smith, Bill Guthridge, and Eddie Folkler, who taught me everything, everything I know. Coach Smith, I've always said, was the best there ever was on the court and was even better off it. I could never come close to matching what Coach Smith did, but every day I tried to make him proud. Bill Guthridge was my freshman coach. I wasn't very good, but I loved to practice, loved to play. And Eddie Fogler took me under his arm when I was a part-time assistant and taught me everything that I could possibly need about recruiting. Those guys were really something. And every day, I hope all three of them felt like I was doing what they wanted me to do. In some ways, I'm very sad. And as I said, I'm scared. But I'm also really happy and proud. We did. Okay. I was coaching great youngsters, winning a few games, and loving it with my heart and my soul.